Enterprise Buzz Metrics is a data warehouse planning tool and a model created by Ralph Kimball and is a part of Data Warehouse Buzz Architecture too. The metrics is a logical definition of one of the core concept of Kimball's approach to dimensional model. In this episode, I'm going to give you that tool which will help you understand the concept of the data warehouse modeling as well as implement that effectively. Excited to dig in? Smash that like button. Welcome to Masterly Data. I'm Raza and on this channel, I'll help you become a data literate with Masterly Data Strategy. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I drop an episode three times a week to decode data and help you grow with your data understanding. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. You'll get notified every single time I drop an episode with data energy. Now, if you're already part of this community, welcome back. It's always awesome to see you over here. First thing first, what is the purpose of creating the enterprise data warehouse biz metrics? Before we get into the details of the process, let's look at the benefits of buzz metric itself, which I've categorized into this four. A, it is the first level of presentation of your data marts. B, it explains overall objective of your data warehouse to the technical professional as well as the business audience. C, it serves as a technical or management document to communicate to the top level executives. D, it shows the mapping between your business processes, i.e. the fact tables and the detailed dimensions before development phase has get started or been triggered. Now, here's the thing, right? Planning your data warehouse is not same as any other project that you do within your organization because data warehouse is different. Customers, executives or data literates involvement is must. Not necessary, we might need an IT department at this stage though. First, buying it off from the business is the success criteria for your data warehouse. And the purpose of data warehouse is its usage and its success lies within the usage of your data warehouse. That only possible when your business is in line with your implementation of your data warehouse. Now, that's also proven that data warehouse or data in general is not an IT asset. Regardless, the process of any project implementation flows through the steps. There is some kind of problem that has been captured within your requirement that we that we call it as BRD, business requirement document or business requirement definition that been cascaded to your designs that are again substream into HLD, which is high level design document and the low level design document. The low level design documents are the one which get cascaded to your implementation team or your build team to get that the, the application built now with regards to data warehouse there is a slight addition to the process flow wherein you definitely have a pain that has been captured in your brd but before you move on to the actual designing of your data warehouse you do create a biz metrics that with the collaborative efforts from both the business analysis team as well as the design team so that the buzz metrics can feed the business community what exactly the implementation would look look like and what kind of answer uh, questions will be answered with this implementation buying it off buying it off from the business community and once that has been done the the process continue flowing through the design and the development let me jump on the tool itself and walk you through the with the usage of this particular tool so to understand this tool better, it has been divided into three categories or three sections, I would say. The section one on the left hand side is the rows of the buzz metrics showcase the business processes, i.e. the fact table. And on the top, the column displaying the dimensions or the confirmed dimension itself. In the center is your complexity metrics. Well, there are different methods for identifying the complexity yet let me give you the tip from my own point of view. There are four categories that I have actually categorized this complexity into. Simple, medium, complex, and high complex. Simple, basically getting your dimension and fact information from the existing source table, having one-on-one -on -one relationship between the dimension and the fact attributes. Medium basically is getting the dimension and fact attributes from the non-existing table. That means you are creating this table explicitly for the reporting purpose, having one-on-one -on -one relationship. Complex basically is where your source is undecided, your data quality issues have been known, or there is a complexity with regards to your source having multiple, uh, sitting in multiple locations, desperate source system issues, and many measures, many attributes, and so on and so forth kind of thingy. 
high complexity adds up to your complex category right so the design team scans each row to test whether the candidate dimension is well defined for the business purpose and also scans each row to see where the dimension should be confirmed for uh, across the multiple business processes i.e the fact tables know this uh, the biz metrics is also used as an input to prioritize your data warehouse or data mart project implementation with business management to set set expectation for the implementation team to implement one row of the metrics at a time now that's been understood let me give you a simple example of creating a buzz metrics for an insurance domain now here's the requirement wherein the business executive wanted to analyze the underlying transactions policy premium billing agents commissions and so on and so forth so, corresponding to these business processes we have added dimensions that make sense of the questions being asked like what time the transactions are going to happen hence the time dimension has been added which policy holders does uh, did this particular transaction and who these the transaction belong to what type of coverage or the policies that are included for this particular transaction what are the items agent who sold this policy so and so forth now you know what biz metric is all about and how to use it if you got any value from this episode please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe because i like it my team loves it and so does the youtube algorithm this is me signing off you would mean a world to me and my team but if you're with us you're going to be mastering data thank you Thank you.